Hello, beautiful souls. I see a female fire sign's energy here. If you are not a fire sign, this could be your spirit guide or someone who would help you come closer to your future response. You will have two kids, and I see that your soul's purpose is tied to this side. This could also be your future response's soul's purpose. Your first pregnancy might have been unplanned, but you were quite sure to have another child. You might relocate or move abroad after having your second child. You will address the father once in their family. Your future response might have lost their father at a young age or before your wedding, and this loss might have impacted them. Your future response might have missed out on divine nurturing energy, and they will receive it from you. Their soul is literally waiting to be surrendered to you. Beautiful souls, thank you for your love and support. Today, I am back with a new reading for all of you. So without wasting much time, let's get started with today's reading. Are you feeling lost and disconnected from your partner, the Divine Masculine? Is there a distance between you two that feels insurmountable? A tarot reading can offer insight into the root causes of this separation and provide guidance on how to move forward. As we dive into the reading, it's important to approach the cards with an open heart and mind. The first card pulled is the Eight of Swords, which represents the Divine Masculine's feelings of being trapped and unable to move forward due to the separation. The woman in this card is blindfolded and bound, surrounded by swords, symbolizing the feeling of being stuck and unable to see a way out. It's clear that the Divine Masculine is struggling with their own internal barriers that are preventing them from moving forward. It's important to note that this card doesn't necessarily indicate that the Divine Masculine doesn't want to be with the Divine Feminine. Rather, it suggests that they may be struggling with their own fears and doubts, which are preventing them from taking action. The third card, the Four of Cups, indicates that the Divine Masculine has attempted to reach out or connect with the Divine Feminine, but their efforts have been hindered by their own fears, doubts, or ego. The figure in this card is sitting under a tree with three cups in front of them, and one being offered from the sky, symbolizing the Divine Masculine's feelings of being offered opportunities for connection but being too wrapped up in their own emotions to see or accept them. The second card, the Five of Swords, sheds light on why the Divine Masculine may be feeling this way. This card represents conflict, betrayal, and loss. It's possible that the separation was caused by a specific event or argument that left the Divine Masculine feeling hurt and defeated. However, this card also suggests that the Divine Masculine may be struggling to take responsibility for their role in the separation. Their ego may be preventing them from acknowledging their mistakes and making amends. This is a difficult hurdle to overcome, but it's necessary for the Divine Masculine to move forward. From Divine Muscular, type yes if you believe.